Presented by Cheritz. Supported by Kroby Doll. Is it morning? Ugh. But I think I was dreaming about something just until now. I keep tracing my memory, but still fuzzy from sleep. I cannot remember. I don't dream often, so the feeling after having one feels strange. The most recent dream was... Right. It was then. It was when Grandpa died, about three years ago from now. The day I fell asleep, tired from remembering my grandpa, who is no longer by my side, I had a dream about waking up to a peaceful morning with him. In my dream, I saw him smiling and waking me up as always, telling me, You'll be late if you don't get up now. And the next morning, when I realized that his smile was all just a dream, Oh no, this won't do. Let's just think about happy thoughts in the morning. Anyways, it's definitely been a long time since I've had that dream. I drew the curtains as soon as I got out of bed. The window was slightly wet from the rain last night, but as a result, the sky was incredibly clear. Wow, the weather is so good today, Grandpa. Isn't today perfect to hang out the laundry? <laughs> I stare at the small frame picture on the desk. This house used to be the place where two people, my grandpa and I, used to live. He took care of me. Instead of my parents who went abroad for research, I listened to him more after I grew up because I'd lived with him since I was little. Most pictures are of Grandpa and I. Grandpa's smile was in all the pictures pinned at the board above the desk. I cannot even begin to describe the amount of shock I received when he passed away from a chronic illness. Days passed by with me constantly passing out from crying so hard. Unable to bear seeing me like this, my parents suggested that I move to the States with but I shook my head. I didn't want to be a burden to their research, but more importantly, I couldn't leave this house. This house itself was full of memories I had with Grandpa. The house is a bit too big to live in by myself. Grandpa, it's already been over a year. Time flies by really fast, doesn't it? Around the house, there are still many traces of him other than the pictures. I'm living to the fullest just by myself. So don't worry. At first, I wasn't used to being alone. So every night I blankly stared inside the empty house. And every time, it just made me feel more and more lonely. But now, everything is alright. Because I have those kids. I see the desk muddled with diaries and pens. And on the shelf next to it were my most cherished treasures. They are the joys of my life and my precious friends who gave me back my smile. Hey everyone, had a good night's sleep? Mom's right. <laughs> I really am a carbon copy of Grandpa. He really loved books, and it was his hobby to collect antique books. So, the house always smelled of all kinds of books. And in my case, it was my hobby to collect dolls. Kroby Doll is the company that produced these dolls. I call it the company that gives dolls souls. The first day, I got to know about Kroby Doll through the internet. I had this intense feeling. After that day, I started collecting the allowance my parents sent me. And finally one day, as I desperately hoped for, I got my first doll. He died after I bought my first doll. And that's when I devoted myself more to collecting dolls. Collecting dolls became more important to my life because I was left alone in this huge, empty house. I ended up getting four more dolls, and now I have five in total. They were quite expensive to buy for the average student, so I had to cut back on other expenses. I see the tallest doll among the five. The tall black-haired doll with a slender body and a model-like feel is Yuri. Unlike the existing dolls in Kobe Doll's adult line, he seems realistic and looks like a mature adult male. The number of visitors still explode when I post pictures of you on the blog. It was Yuri who saved my blog from wasting away to rot. I received a lot of comments when I upload pictures of him. Whatever, I think like that too. His broad shoulders and beautiful figure oozes sexiness. It's as if he's telling us with his body, I am cool. I doubt more explanation is needed. Look at the weather today. It's making me feel better just by looking. I feel like I'm looking at you. 
I raise the brunette doll's hand and wave. There is a lot of backstory behind how I was able to get Tay. There is a lot of backstory behind how I was able to get Tay. When Crowy Doll first released Tay, his popularity was beyond imagination. Being limited edition, along with having a dandy and handsome face, brought out an explosive response from the fans. As a result, I failed to purchase it. I could only get him used because he was limited edition, but I'm fine with it. Good morning! You're cute as usual! The doll with its tiny, delicate face and bashfully gathered hands is Yon Ho, Kirby Doll's prototype. The day I met him, I was surfing the internet as usual after coming home. But then I saw Yon Ho being sold in an auction for a ridiculous price and, without hesitating, I clicked the bidding button. Later, when I opened the delivered box containing Yon Ho, I unconsciously screamed out of happiness. Yonho seems like he will never betray me, even if I love him unconditionally. And that is probably the biggest reason why I bought him. Hello, warrior. Earth is safe today, all because of you. I mend the hair of the red-haired doll. Meeting Red was special. People were a bit surprised when Kirby Doll announced the action hero type doll Red in their new release conference. Kirby Doll has always been known for their charming and mature male dolls. Amongst all the worry, Kroby Doll recruited testers for Red, and luckily I was selected. When my name was announced, I couldn't believe my ears. But unfortunately, after the conference, Red was not officially released. They only choose one tester to give this doll for free, and that was me. It's still a shame that they did not release the doll afterwards. It would have been nice for him to have gained a popularity and be officially released. But as a result, I was the only person in the world who owned Red. But I can't help but feel gloomy every time I look at him. Hi, young master. This doll standing here flaunting his long, shiny silver hair is Lance. The first doll I ever bought. Lance is the one doll that always stood by me when Grandpa was alive. Money was a bit tight from the expense, but... I have zero regrets. I straighten myself and stretch. The five dolls watch in silence. Although they are lifeless dolls, it has become a habit to talk to them about this. The clock was heading towards eight. I picked up my uniform sprawled on the floor and was heading out of the door when I suddenly halted. I hurried back to my room and said goodbye to the dolls. Watch the house, everyone. I'll be back. They said nothing in return, but I said bye as if they were real people. 